kutoka kwa jamii tofauti maziwa uji tutatumia ili msaada tu ya kushikilia wakati tuna kwa msaada zingine currently tuko hapa chuda and uh, one of the beneficiaries ambao tumekuja ku survey ni kwa nyumba yake imeporomoka as you can see completely there's nothing hapa and uh, also uh, the person ambaye alikuwa amekaa ndani ya hiyo nyumba uh, ukuta ilimwangukia kwa uh, the upper body so alikuwa na internal damages alikuwa kwa ICU uh, Coast General Hospital for a couple of days na sasa hii ametolewa yuko kwa ward anaendelea vizuri but akona a lot of internal damages tumekuja hapa with uh, donations of uh, some food items and non food items limited but this is what we have been receiving tuko na collection points in different supermarkets that will be uh, mentioning uh, during the week and uh, some of the food items ni kama unga tuko nayo unga hapa uh, tuko na maziwa mkate and uh, maybe other some raw food items non food items ni kama blankets which they need a lot in this uh, cold weather and also vitu vya kupikia kama vyombo uh, stove sufuria all these things when uh, nyumba zinaporomoka we have uh, three categories of that kuna uh, minimum damage moderate damage and complete damage hapa tuliposimama ni complete damage kila kitu imeenda it has been washed away kuna nyumba zingine ambazo tulienda ku visit that paka uniforms uh, za shule vitabu za shule books everything zilikuwa washed away tuko na one of the beneficiaries hapa ambao ndugu yake yuko hospitali uh, there is another beneficiary nyuma yangu pia ambao mtoto wake aliangukiwa na ukuta na kichwa iliumia mgongo utu wa mgongo iliumia tuliweza kumpeleka paka hospitali alikuwa organized uh, scannings and other medical treatments na sasa hivi pia yuendelea vizuri so wakati hii wa mvua uh, we have about 1200 uh, households ambao ziko affected and out of that around 200 households ziko damaged out of the damaged households about 50 households we can say ziko in complete damage or very near to complete damage ambapo ukuta imeanguka and uh, some of the walls are completely cracked beyond human use uh, the areas ambao tume survey so far is hapa chuda mvita area we have uh, changamwe uh, chaani area and several other parts of chaani ambao after this place we are going to chaani to distribute some of other non food items areas like chaani the households ziliingiwa na floods to a point that zimefika kwa rooftop so those were very uh, shocking for us as well because this was the first time ever kwa flood imefikia to the uh, rooftop and we have uh, uh, the previous documentaries about that as well uh, tumeweza kwenda kwa hizi manyumba na the villagers Uh, almost every year na tunaenda kuwa uh, ongelesha kuwa it's very important ya kuwa watoke from the lowlands and come to the higher areas where uh, the rains won't affect population kubwa ambayo inaishi hapa chuda wengi wao wanaishi moroto na hii moroto nyumba zao ni hizo ambazo zimejengwa and blind ndio mbosa unaona kwamba muda kama huu wa mvua nyingi utapata hizi nyumba wanga ni rahisi kuanguka. Na tumejaribu pia kuongea na community ambao wanakaa hapa kuhamasisha kuhusu vile ambavyo wanakaa hapa. Lakini sasa shida ni kwamba ukiweleza kuhusu masuala ya kwamba mbona ni hivi mbona ni hivi wanakuambia kwamba sasa tesi tufanye nini chifu. Na sisi maisha yetu ni haya, tunapata mshahara wetu ambao tunapata uko chini sana. Yale angukua na nyumba hiyo siku ya Friday ilikuwa kuna nyesha mvua kwa kunyanyesha mvua ndo akaanguka hii na hii nyumba ndo akaanza kutoa sauti akaita mamake ndo mama akakuja akaita watu hapo akaanza kumsaidia paka akapelekwa hospitali makadari bahati nzuri kulikuwa na vijana hapo ambao walikuwa wanachonga chonga migoka yao hapo hao ndo walienda mbio hapo na kumfuna na, na kumfukua ule mtoto na kumtoa sasa mimi nikifika pale tayari walikuwa wamemtoa sasa ule mtoto ni kama alikuwa amepoteza fahamu kidogo ndo mama yake akaja akamwagia maji mimi nikamtia mgongoni nikaenda naye hospitali hapa mji wa Salama kuna hospitali ndogo hapo kaenda kafanywa first aid uh, kwa hilo ni kweli chifa anasema kweli tutoke kwa hili kwa hili eneo kwa sababu kwa kweli kukinyesha hali kama hii kuna ku risk lakini sasa kwa sababu ya hali zetu ambazo sasa tunapiga mahesabu je tukitoka hapa na hatuwezi kupangisha hata nyumba ya elfu moja na tano tutaenda kupangisha nyumba wapi ama tutakaa barabarani tulale barabarani sote na sisi tuko wengi tunaona afadhali tujifike humu humu hivyo hivyo shilingi 500 800 tuna survive hivyo hivyo na watoto wetu